Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Piano Stories. It's something I do on Saturday, oh, sometime mid late morning or early afternoon. And today I want to uh, play the music and tell some stories about a composer that I have a, a special affinity for, and that's Harold Arlen. So why don't we start out with uh, one of his um, songs that uh, capture kind of the blues feeling of this great composer, okay? in Buffalo, New York. Um, he was the son of a cantor and also the brother of a cantor. And so he developed a little, his own vocal style and actually started out as a singer. Uh, he dropped out of high school, uh, but he had a music career. And um, he was discovered that uh, he could compose music too. So uh, he went to New York um, and started writing music. He published his first song in 1924 and actually published all the way up until 1979, so uh, something like 50 plus years. Now, that's a career. We know him best because he's the composer of Over the Rainbow, which I'll play, but not right now. Anyway, um, I like Carol Arlen because he has a nice, beautiful, melodic style about him, uh, but he also has this deep richness of, uh, he captures a blues tradition, but also so many other musical traditions. Great, great composer. Anyway, let's do some more songs. Uh, let's see, here's one. Uh, oh, yeah, here's one. Uh, Judy Garland did this in a movie uh, called, what was the name of the movie? Oh, A Star is Born. One of the many <laughs> redos of The Star is Born. This is the 1954 version. It's called A Man That, The Man That Got Away, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
on this ending here. Judy Garland did from uh, St. Louis Woman. I think it's the same song. It's Come Rain or Come Shine. You can play this up-tempo or uh, as a ballad. Um, I'll play it kind of in between. So uh, anyway, so Come Rain or Come Shine. favorites. I think Crosby, I think, did this with the Lennon sisters. It was very popular in 19, in the wartime, 1944. It's called Accentuate the Positive. Uh, Johnny Mercer uh, wrote the lyrics, and uh, so here is the tune. Uh, okay, and it's, uh, let's see. the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In-Between, don't mess with Mr. In-Between, you've got to accentuate the positive. A good message for our days, I think. Um, here we are, uh, here's a kind of a, let's see, which one I want to do. Um, Ah, uh, from the Wizard of Oz, and I'm sure all of you know this song, If I Only Had a Brain.
particularly good at writing um, sort of uh, up tempo patter style lyrics. So uh, he could, you know, he would write a lot of notes so that uh, he could get all the, the words in, in a way. Uh, it was great. Um, he has that wonderful style. That's why he worked with so wonderfully with lyricists like Johnny Mercer. And of course, probably his greatest partnership of all was with uh, E.Y. Harburg, better known as Yip. Yip himself was a poet. Um, and he uh, uh, is known for, uh, not only over the rainbow, of course, but also for the song he wrote, Brother, Can You Spare a Dime? So I, I call that the uh, archetypal song of the early depression. And uh, I'll tell you a little more about uh, the end of that in a moment. Uh, so we'll go on to some more Harold Arlen. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, here's one of my favorites, uh, Harold Arlen, from the uh, movie The Cotton Pub, excuse me, Cotton Club Parade. Uh, no, that's a, excuse me, a Broadway review. Uh, Stormy Weather. <laughs> songs as I told you he published uh, was writing songs well basically to the end of his life um, and here's a song he did with his old partner uh, Yip Harbor called Silent Spring it's a little it's a very melodic very pretty song <laughs> Thank you. 
Silent Spring. <clears throat> Here's another one he did uh, again at the end of his life. Um, in a similar vein called Promise Not to Love Me. Actually, it's still late, 1960s. Um, he wrote this with um, lyric with uh, Dory Langan, so whom I uh, sadly don't know anything about. Uh, anyway, here it's called The Morning After. <laughs> story about this. Uh, Arlen and Yip Harburg were hired to be the to uh, write the music for the musical um, and um, they came up with this uh, show a song over the rainbow which the studio executives said nah it's no good we don't need that. <laughs> well luckily uh, nobody paid them any mind uh, and it, it only affirms what uh, the great screenwriter William Goldman used to say about Hollywood Nobody knows anything. <laughs> so uh, not only was that song a hit, it actually won the, the, the duo an Academy Award. And of course, it, uh, it's what we, one of the things we remember most about Judy Garland and, of course, that great movie. And it's a wonderful song of aspiration. I like to call it the greatest motivation song of all time. And getting back to Yip Harvard, Yip wrote the song... Uh, 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 what was the song? Oh, uh, Brother Can You Spare a Dime, which was really about despair. It's about a guy who used to be somebody and now felt that he was no one because he had lost his job. But Over the Rainbow is, we're talking about bluebirds singing and a better tomorrow. And it uh, came out in, I think, 37. So uh, the depression by no means was over, but there was a little more optimism in our country. So anyway, uh, Over the Rainbow. <laughs> Thank you. 
presentation for the for today music of Harold Arlen thanks for listening and stay tuned during the week I do my interviews on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, called Grace Under Pressure um, look forward to seeing you then and thanks for listening today